Hi, I thought I'd uh, show you a little bit more about the uh, software uh, with this uh, this 3D software. Uh, I didn't actually show you all, all the designs that are incorporated. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just um, show you the designs on here and then go through the, uh, the software a little bit. Right, so... I think I showed you that these were the frames. Now, if you wanted to uh, actually have a look at what other designs there are, go into this little box here, and that will bring you up all kinds of uh, the designs that I showed you on, I think it was my video one in the book, and these are them actually within the uh, software. So we've got buildings, a bit boring, not really, in case you've got a little boy's quilt, you could actually do that. Light actually, I quite like that loud house. <laughs> lighthouse. Right, okay. So we didn't need to close that down because I wasn't concentrating on what I was doing. Right, so we'll go again back into this box. And we've got flowers. You have to open it up. And there are all your flowers. Now, how many pages of flowers have we got? just that one page but they're lovely aren't they lovely poppies I love flowers right so we don't need to close it down so we'll go into here so I wanted to do as a design with my frames so you can't just click it and it'll come up automatically so that's what I want to do I'm going to um, do a design using this frame here so I'll continue with the video and I'll, what I will do is I will place them for you but let's just have a look let's just go through it um, let's have a look at wildlife no transport even so okay so there it is like I say we've got quite a few things to be playing with so I'm going to go back up to my frames and I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to close that down and then I'm going to play around with these. Okay then. And what I'm going to do, because I can't do it looking through um, the iPad, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it down and then select my frames and place them and then I'll show you how I've done that. Okay then. Join my next part of the video. Bye for now. Right, what I've done is I've selected uh, four of these frames here, the corner frames, and I've just I'm just starting to place them on my mat. So, like I say, you've got kind of um, this section here, this little dot here, uh, will let you just move it around. So you can actually move it into place how you want it. This one here is a little bit skewy, so I will move this slightly down making sure that it's within the hooped area so oops, that's it I don't want that anymore right so we've got that so there's something up here called combine now if I went if I wanted to send this to the machine it might think I only wanted to do this so I want to combine the pattern so I'll try and hold it up here. So which one? This gets along here where it says combine. There we go. Combine. So you want to press that and that will then allow you to if I click on basically you can move it all around. So now it is one. Right, okay, so we've got, I'll just check, because I want to use it, I'm to check that we've got it all in the square. That one there just looks slightly out, so I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to move it up slightly. Like so. Okay, so we've done that. We've closed our frame. And this panel here... It didn't really, uh, I didn't really go into this. This is basically your colours. So if, say, this, for instance, in the pattern, say, like, pink, it would come up 
pink and uh, heaven knows why it just went blue there. Oh my god. No. Anyway, yeah, so this is your colour bar and you basically when it beeps you look down here and this is a colour change. One, two, three, four. Right. So there's that. But now I want to go and use my fonts. I showed you my uh, video number two on this, and I want to place some fonts here. So we'll go down here to letters, and that's where we'll find our fonts, like I explained before. Um, so I didn't mention really. Let's see if I can mess this. It's not better if I can mess it. What these actually do. Now these actually place your um, lettering in the shape of what it says. So uh, that's horizontal, so your writing will be horizontally horizontally across your hoop. That will be vertically across your hoop. And this will be like circled around. So you've got clockwise and counterclockwise or anticlockwise. And then you've got a full circle here. And then you've got an arch, see the outside of this, that's the shape of your writing, what it would be. And then you've got the diamond, again, following the contour of that, that's how your writing uh, would come out. So, um, this section here, when you've actually applied your lettering and it's going to be joined, isn't it, by thread? So you can actually choose how I, how you um, basically join each letter. And I use this one so I can just snip it away when I've finished. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the video off again while I play around with some lettering, and then I'll show you how to apply it. Okay then. So what I've done here is I've actually applied um, the letters, what I want to um, write. And basically it's just exactly the same as when you when I put the uh, outer border on. Uh, so you type out what you want there and you select that and then you want to apply it. So that's how it's now applied, but we don't want it, we, this is where it is now. Now if I wanted to position that somewhere, I would put it, say, down there, but I don't want it. So what we'll do, we'll get rid of that. So we'll just back down to this now. So what I want to do is, I just want to uh, embroider this, I want to send this. So. It might be okay looking at it. It's a little bit low down here than it is up there. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of move this up a bit. That seems to be all central. And that says a house is not a home without a putty cat. Right, so okay. So now we'll go to combine embroidery. So all that should be combined. So what I want to do now is I want to embroider this out. So I have uh, threaded the machine. I've not done it in green, I've done it in red. Um, so we'll go to send. Right. We don't want to save it, so we all just want to send it. So we'll send. We'll click send. Oh no, hang on a minute, we've got to go to design. Sorry about this. And we want to send. It's hard looking through the iPad while I'm doing it. So now we'll go to quick send. So it's all come up there except for my writing. Now, where is my writing gone? Right, did I combine it? No, I didn't combine it. So, see, the machine thought I just wanted to do these four corners. So let's go back into combine there. So hopefully now we should be able to send it. So at least just show it as you see in the little things that can go wrong. 
Let's see a quick send. Yes, that's where it's gone. So if I wanted to go now from here and select the speed, this is like your control panel for that. But I've gone through, I've kind of gone through all that in our video number two. So what I'm going to do, it, this is all ready now for me to uh, get embroidery. So what you do, you uh, select start. Now when I select start, what I normally do is I stop it again and snip off uh, the, um, the little thread that's going to be on there. Because it'll tell you to do that anyway. So I'll press start. Right, so E14. Now what is E14? It's press a foot up. So we need to select. Put the press foot down. And then we just press start. See, all that will be, it should say thread. E13. Let's have a look what E13 is. It's thread. So basically, what I've got to do there is just snip that off. So just bear with me, I'll put it down here to rest and I'll just snip that off. So that's what we'll do. So what I'll do now is I will press start again. <laughs> really got time to actually uh, show you through this video uh, the complete uh, run through like I would like to have done um, but there's the finished design and all I've got to do now is uh, take it from the hoop and basically where it's joined some of the letters like there is just snip away with some scissors so I hope you found um, the um, information about this software easy to use and uh, I hope it's helped you because when I first got my hands on this I hadn't got a clue how to use it and like I said I came on YouTube to look for some info about this software and just couldn't find anything and I've had to spend <laughs> two weeks or more reading my book so it just goes to show how much we rely on YouTube for these things. But if uh, anything like me, you like to see things happen in front of you to be able to do it. I mean, I've had help from my son to help me with this. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining me and uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.